Okay, so I want to do a breakdown of our biggest swell of the whole winter. Um, it was by far the standout of the whole season. Uh, the buoys were hitting and they were looking super strong. The wind was kind of southeast, which is pretty much ideal. And uh, just knew it was gonna it was gonna be on. And that day, could tell in the morning like it was gonna be a really special day. And especially seeing how the buoys just kept rising and rising knowing that was gonna hit us in another nine hours. Like you just knew you had this entire day long window to um, get giant surf. So we went to an outer reef that I love and have been going to for a long time. And uh, it was absolutely pumping. Um, was surfing out there with like John John was out, uh, Cole Rothman, some of the OG guys like Mike Peach, Cole Christensen, and a bunch of other people and uh it was just absolutely incredible and i i knew like it was one of those days to try to catch a wave that i had always been dreaming of you know you only get so many chances at catching a truly giant wave in your life and i i just knew it was going to happen that day so at first i i just started off like just trying to catch every wave and pull into every wave that i could um just because there were some that were barreling so hard but I, I kind of wasn't picking them right. They were kind of clamping on me and stuff like that. And then finally a bomb came and I ended up catching that. And I, I think it's the fastest I've ever gone on a surfboard. I was trying to turn my surfboard and my surfboard was like, no, nope, I want to go to the beach. I was probably going 35 miles an hour at least and uh, you know I got to the bottom of this wave and it felt like forever dropping in it felt like dropping into two different waves like dropping in dropping in dropping in and then like whoa dropping in to like an even steeper section and uh, I ended up just biffing it and uh, skipping on my stomach and getting sucked up and over and on one of the biggest waves I've ever paddled into in my life um, it was a crazy view that I had like stuck in that lip upside down looking out and I just remember thinking like okay I got my foam flotation on I got a little bit of air in my like Patagonia inflatable vest so if I hit the water so hard that I get knocked out I'll have enough flo flotation for um, somebody to pick me up because I was just I was like 60 feet in the air and just knowing that I could hit the water so hard but ended up you know, just getting extremely ragdolled what wasn't too worse for the wear on that. I was actually like my neck and body and hips, everything was all jacked for like two months before that. And I swear to God, that wave fixed it amazingly. Like that never happens. But um, yeah, and then after that, I was just like, I want to catch the biggest wave of my life. You know, like I, I want to pull into a giant barrel. And uh, that's when things just started going wrong um my jet ski that was in the channel for safety somehow the sled safety sled got broken in half so then there was like a jet ski swap so my buddy could drive a ski with a good sled and another person swapped there then this big closeout set came and then next thing you know it's like oh i see a jet ski on the inside getting pounded <laughs> in the surf i'm like oh man i wonder who lost their ski and then i hear oh that's your ski in there so my jet ski was filled with water. Um, my friend got hurt on it. He ended up breaking his back, uh, but they had already gotten him onto uh, another jet ski and taken to the beach. And I, at that point, I didn't know that it was as bad as it was. They just said he was taken care of. So I'm take the jet ski out, limp way out to sea, try to get some of the water out of it. It's not happening. The jet ski's running like crap. So we have to limp back to the harbor and then I'm doing like my homeschool mechanics, wrenching on the ski, trying to pull the plugs and make sure there's not water in the cylinders, blow them all out. Luckily that was dry, but just trying to make sure that I wasn't gonna leave a problem that was gonna absolutely ruin my jet ski. Everything went pear shaped. Um, we're out there and just giant set came in, closed out the whole channel. All the skis were trying to run and a boat barely made it, some didn't. And then my ski did not, and it got rolled oh, wait, 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 wait. really far in by a lot of waves, and it's 
full was full of water. Thankfully, it was running enough to get to the harbor. Mossy was on the back. I think his red got drenched, and he had to go in and go to the hospital. His back's messed up. So crazy stuff. Now I'm just trying to make sure that there's no salt water in the cylinders right now. But it's giant out there. Really, really big. It's like 20 foot and bigger top to bottom barrels. Got pounded on a lot of waves trying to make a barrel. Got a big one and could not get my rail in to save my life. I was going so fast and just ended up body surfing on my stomach at the bottom and getting a launch. So just lots of carnage right now. It just got really chaotic when all the, that big set came. My sled's broken in half. It's a mess. Pretty much as good as waves get, really. Um, when we pulled up, we saw a couple, and then suddenly these double ups started coming. Must have been like the 25 second period, and it was just doubling up and running. I put we put Mark and. Uh, and cam in the water first so i got to watch the insiders and it kind of looked like just cloud break going absolutely mental um and i was with john john on the ski and we were watching so as soon as it was our turn we kind of just beelined it straight to where we had seen those waves obviously i didn't get any and john john got like four of them but um yeah just 20 foot perfect Fuck that i mean that's as good as waves get it was absolutely pumping it was uh, definitely some of the craziest waves I've ever seen in my life. Uh, like Twiggy said, it just looked like cloud break. It was perfect, giant pipeline cloud break. Mark went on the biggest wave almost I've ever seen and then fell at the bottom and I was kind of stressed because I knew I had to go get him. <laughs> but everyone's okay. That's the main thing. I hope Ryan's okay as well because uh, there was some serious carnage going on out there. So what happened to him? There was a monster closeout set that closed out the channel and all the skis kind of started running for it and started trying to get over it. I was with Twiggy on the ski and I just told him hold on and turned around and went to shore and I guess guys were flying off the back of the wave. It was, how big was that set, Twiggy? Yeah, 20 feet plus. Plus, yeah. 40, 50 foot plus, I'm sure. It was huge. <laughs> I wanted nothing to do with it. I was like, I'm out of here. I went in. But uh, Ryan, I think landed wrong. I, I hope he's okay. Hope you're okay, Ryan. Uh, scary stuff and then uh, we ended up going back out and it was uh, on shore in the afternoon evening and uh, ended up towing into some waves and pulling into more big barrels and getting pounded more I think that reversed the gains I had in the chiropractic treatment that I had on the big one earlier and uh, all in all it was an incredible day it was a real bummer that my my friend uh, Ryan Moss, who was filming off of my ski, ended up breaking his back, but um, he's on the comeback trail faster than I've ever seen anybody do it. Um, just a wild day. Like, I, if there's one takeaway I want people to get from this is just to see, like, it's not just going and surfing. That's like the least of my worries on big days. It's like trying to organize things, trying to have safety plans, dealing with equipment, you know timing there's so many different moving parts like it's I, I would say the amount of like stress and, and mental capacity that's eaten up the actual surfing part is probably only like 30 percent of it but it was a beautiful day a wild one definitely one that nobody's gonna forget anytime soon so hope you enjoy don't forget to like, subscribe, set notifications, and you'll be the first to know whenever I post a new video. Um, and hope to see you again for another strike mission.